Well, I guess we found a cure for AIDS. We're now past the 25 year mark of HIV and AIDS, so I guess it's in the rear view back there with the Berlin Wall and prosperity. I don't hear about the threat of AIDS anymore, so I guess thousands of people's lives aren't being ravaged by HIV. That's fantastic. Oh, wait a minute. Almost 3 million people have died of AIDS in 2005, says the avert.org site, and the unaids.org site says an estimated 38.6 million people are living with HIV. It is true that the global target expenditure was achieved at over 8 billion US dollars in 2005, but treatment and spread reduction rates were not achieved. People living with HIV and the spread of the AIDS virus is most prevalent in Africa, studies say, and that's at least part of the problem. There's other problems, of course, like here in America, we have a lot of things to worry about as it is, and somehow the threat of HIV and AIDS is still only a gay and intravenous drug user problem. So, for the good and normal people of America, it's business as usual. Here's another problem. The most at-risk demographic is the most rapidly rising HIV statistic, and that would be young people. With a president who wholeheartedly endorses abstinence-only sex ed in classrooms and the radical Christian right doing everything they can to keep the ignorance level high and the access to information on contraception and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases away from those who need it most, thousands of young people are on a collision course with HIV and AIDS. With a lack of awareness, the threat of HIV and AIDS could be more powerful than ever. After 25 years of clear evidence of how awful contracting HIV is, what could possibly be the excuse not to tell every young person what the deal is? We need more informative education and awareness than ever, not fear tactics, politicization, and activist Christian agendas, which prove over and over again to be unsustainable, unrealistic, and hate to tell you, you radical Christians and Bush supporters, ineffective. And sooner than later, you may find yourselves viewed as much of a threat to young people as HIV itself.